This is a video for how to create the T9 axle um, for the Automoblox car. So um, you'll notice that in Activity 5.2b, um, you do have dimension drawings for the Automoblox car. Um, the one that they will give you um, looks similar to this, and obviously, you know, we can zoom in. And there's a lot of there's a lot of coordinate points in here to place. Um, you'll notice we're in a section view. Um, there's a lot of different types of uh, geometry in here. I'm going to choose to use a different um, drawing for uh, for one that I've made for my class. So what we'll do is we're going to only going to create in Inventor what you see in blue up here. We're going to ignore the bottom. Note that this is a section view, and the line we see down here, down through the middle is a center line so this is going to be a revolution so we're only going to create what you see in blue so i'm going to go to inventor and i'm going to create for myself a new english standard ipt and i'm going to go to create and grab my pencil and go to my xy plane now i want to go back over here and note that the full height you know this is 0.4 in in diameter so the radius is going to be 0.2 so i'm only dealing with a total of 0.2 tall to the very top and then from left to right we're only dealing at 0.88 so one of the things that i do with my students is i tell them just to draw the shape so I'm going to make sure that I zoom in here as much as I can. And I don't want to drag up, you know, a full inch or anything like that. Notice I'm at 0 .001. I want to drag up to where maybe I can, or maybe I can zoom out a little bit to where I'm actually starting to deal with about just inch numbers. So I want you to notice that I'm coming up and I'm making these measurements reasonably small. So I'm going to come up and come over and up and over. So also remember that. So I have two vertical lines and two, two um, horizontal lines that I'm drawing. So I did a vertical line. I'm going to do a horizontal line, vertical, horizontal. And I'm going to come back to my drawing. And I'm right here on this corner. I'm going to come up and over. And I'm going to ignore this diagonal line for now. I'm going to come up and over and down and over. So let's go back. I'm going to come up and over and down. I want to make sure I don't snap to, to center lines here. I'm going to come over to here. And I know that by looking at this drawing that these two lines right here line up. They are collinear. So I'm going to come back to here. And when this line hits my y-axis, I'm going to come up draw for myself a line, come back, and I'm going to go over and down and over. So this will all start making a little bit more sense as we go on down and over to the side over here. That's, I'm getting way too far over there. And I want to come down. There's a little ledge over here, so I'm going to come down, over, down. So down, over, down, and I'm down here down over down and down. I'm going to come over to the left and come back down to the bottom. So I've made this little ledge and I'm going to come over to the left and I'm going to come back down here to the bottom and I want to make sure that I snap to the left here. Make sure I'm closing this off and click. Right click and say OK. Now you might look at this and say that does not look exactly like this and you're right. The cool thing about doing things this way is I can click on these lines and kind of drag them around. So if I need to make this a little bit wider and you know, I want to bring this in a little bit, you know, I want to bring that one in, you don't have to worry about how you have everything made at the beginning because you can move these things around. I have some geometric constraints that make these lines vertical and horizontal, but I have no numerical constraints. I have not established any width or any height dimensions at all. All I have is a shape, and we're going to stick with this. What we're going to do first is we are going to do our width dimensions. We're going to ignore the diameter dimensions for now. But we're going to go back here, and we're going to notice that from this vertical line to this vertical line is 0.19. So we're going to go back. Dimension from vertical line to vertical line down, 0.19, and hit Enter. You're going to notice it's going to shrink on us, and that's a good thing. When it shrunk on us, now it's giving us things a little bit more to scale. I'm going to right-click and say OK. I'll go back to my drawing. And from vertical line to vertical line here is 0.25. You have to make sure you're looking at these extension lines. That's the most common mistake is people get in a hurry and they ignore the extension lines. 0.25 to 0.25 over to here. Dimension, line to line, 0.25 and enter. Now it's shifted this over. Good. Let's go back up here. We have 0.5 from here to here on this small line. So I can just click on this horizontal and come up. Point 0, 0.5. So here we go. Point 0, 0.05. Enter. We have this. Let's go back up to the top. Um, we had 0.19 from here to here. We have 0 0.07 for this line right here. So we're going to come up. 0 0.07. Enter. On the right side, 0.33 in from here and 0 0.05 on the side. So we're going to click here and drag up and this one's 0 0.05. Enter. And this one right here is 0 0.33. 
and it shifted out. Now we have one other dimension we have not placed, and that is the 0.88 at the top. Note that we've gone left to right in each way that we've needed to. So 0.88 across the top. So we are going to go to dimension from vertical line to vertical line, drag all the way up, 0.88, and that's going to shift everything in. And now we have all of our width dimensions. If you want to make this easier, you can click on each one of the lines and drag them up. And that might make it a little bit easier for you to read through and see that you've done each of your width dimensions. So I have my 0 0.05, 0 0.25, I got all these, I got my 0 0.05. You know, right here I can drag this up, my 0.33 was down here towards the bottom. And now I have all of my width. We're, again, we're going to ignore this little diagonal line right here. What we're going to do now is we're going to place our diameter dimensions. Now, in order for us to make the diameter dimensions, we're going to go ahead and change this to a center line. This horizontal line at the bottom needs to be changed to a center line. Otherwise, we'd only be dealing in radius dimensions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on that horizontal line, and I'm going to come up here to the center line format, and we're going to click on center line. And you'll note now that this now has turned into a center line. I'm just going to tap outside of it, and you'll notice now we have a center line right here. So let's do this. We're going to go from smallest to largest. So 0.19, the extension line, goes right along these two horizontal lines that are right along here. So we're going to go to dimension. From our center line to that horizontal line, we drag out 0.19, enter. Same thing over here on the right-hand side. Center line, horizontal line. I can click out here. I can do one of two things. I can also come over and just tap on this 0.19 if they're always going to be the same, and I can hit enter. And there's our 0.19 right there. Let's go back to our drawing. 0 0.19, 0 0.19, the next one will be 0.25. This little ledge right here and that little opposite horizontal line over here are both 0.25. So from our center line to this line, drag out 0.25, enter. From our center line to this line here, 0.25, enter. Next line, let's go back. Next line is 0.29. It's this upper ledge up here. I'm gonna go back from our center line right here to that horizontal line. I'm gonna drag out 0.29, enter. And you see that little ledge form. Next one. From the next one's gonna be 0.3 over here on the side, the little ledge up here at the top. So from our center line to this ledge right here, 0.3, enter and everything shifted down. Now what's neat about this is you're going to notice that this ledge now is crossed over and you can change it. We're going to right click and up here I can I can drag this up. Looks to me like our point three got a little bit misplaced. I'm going to right click on that point three and go to delete. I always like it when something uh, let, me, let me undo that. I only want the point three dimension to go away so I'm going to go to delete. Now that stayed the same. If I wanted this to be dragged down a little bit, I can drag that down inside the object. I'm kind of glad when that happens on a video because it shows you how to, how to fix some stuff. Now, I have this ledge in here as being 0.19. Now, I want to drag, I think what happens is I want to drag this part down a little bit because I have 0.19 right here. I have 0.25 across here up here at the top. So one of the things I'm wanting to do now is, let's see, like that, one doesn't have, that one doesn't have the dimension on it. So here's what we're going to do. Find the horizontal lines that we have not dimensioned yet and drag these up. And I'm going to click on this and drag it up, and now we have the space. So when lines go over the top of each other over here, like I can see where my extension lines hit. Like how did you know which lines? Well, I can find the lines down here that did not have extension lines on them. So if we go back to our drawing, you'll note that I had my 0.19 here. I had my 0.25 here. Now my 0.3 would come up here to this little top line. So I'm always glad when something like that happens in a video because it shows you how to edit things. Let's go back to here, and we're going to go to 0.3 and hit Enter. And notice how this dragged down. We can right click and say okay. We're going to drag this up just a little bit and eventually we're going to come in and change this line but again we're going to ignore it for now. So I have 0.3 to there. We have 0.29. Our last one is 0.4 and that goes all the way up here to the top. So let's go back to Inventor. Notice I dragged this way up here. You know I can drag this down and make it look a little bit more like it from here and go to Dimension and from my center line to the top drag over 0.4 and enter. So now if you'll notice, we have our shape. If I go back to the object, you can tell this looks just like what we have. You know, it looks a little bit wider a little bit, but we have the correct dimensions. We've got 0 0.88, 0 0.05, 0 0.3. So now the only thing we really have to worry about is this line right here. Now, if we go back to our drawing, 
you're going to see that there is a dimension of 0.01 for the vertical line down here, that skinny little vertical line. We're going to go to dimension, vertical line, click out, 0.01, enter. And you'll note that we now have that line. So what, to get this diagonal line, I'm going to right click and say OK, and we're going to click on line. And I'm going to click on this corner. And you're going to notice that that black dotted line is going to show up when it lines up with that horizontal line. So I'm going to walk this right over until it hits this wall, and I'm going to click and say OK. There was a black dotted line that walked us right into here. I'm going to go to Trim, and I'm going to click on the bottom line down here and trim that off. Right click and say OK. We don't need this horizontal line anymore, so I'm going to right click and say Delete. This right here is part of our axle. We're going to say Finish Sketch, and all I have to do now is go to Revolve. And you're going to notice that since there was a center line there, it's automatically going to say, oh, you meant to revolve this? And I'm going to say, OK. And right here is our revolved object. Nice. Let's say save. And I'm going to call this um, you know, wheel axle. You can call it axle. Um, I've made several of these. I'm going to call this wheel axle and say save. So now one thing we need to do is we need to take a look at the front end of the object. There's a little cut over here. I don't know if you can see it on this side or not, um, but there's a little cut of 0.04. Notice that that goes from one side to the other. So we're going to put a little cut that's 0.04 in the side that has the angle and the lip on it. So that's going to be over here on this side. So we're going to go to pencil and you're going to click on this ridge right here, this, this surface, and it's going to flip. Now what we want to do is we're going to go to rectangle, but we want a, um, we want a two-point center rectangle. So we're going to click in the in the middle right here and we're going to drag straight up like this and we just want 0 .04 at the top and we can hit tab and all you have to do to make sure it just goes outside that edge. So we can put in, I don't know, 0 .4 and hit enter and you're going to go to your house button. We're going to right click and say OK. Flip it back around and say finish sketch and we're going to go to extrude and we're going to go to cut and the distance back, I'm going to throw in something like 0.4, but that's way too far. We want just a little bit of a cut. If you have the actual Automoblox cars in front of you, you will notice that there's a little bit of a cut. We can make up our own distance here. It's not that big of a deal. We don't have to be absolutely perfect, but we have a little cut right here, and we're going to go ahead and say OK, and I'm going to hit Save. Now, one thing I want to make sure we take a look at, if we can go back, is I want to make sure that we get the distance of this over here because this right here is the part that goes into this right here is the part that goes into the car the part with the angle on it is the axle goes on this part the part that goes into the car is the flat side so I'm gonna come over here to our revolution I want to right click on sketch one and I want to go down to visibility and the part that actually goes into the car is 0.33 plus the 0.05 over here it's these two dimensions right here so um, we want to obviously we want to remember that that's something we want to remember it's going to be 0 0.3 um, 35 when we put this in here so excuse me 0.38 when we put this in here so we want to make sure we remember that and we remember the extrusion that we're going to make the hole into the front end and the back end so we're going to come over here and right click on sketch one and turn off the visibility now to make this the right um, color we're going to come up to default and let's make this dark green and that's going to be a very similar color to what you see in your Automoblox car. And we're going to go to Save. And this is basically what we're going to use to start making our axle that um, it will start working from for our Automoblox car. So this has been a video on how to create the axle for the Automoblox car.